Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Ashley Evans, and I'm with Marvelous Mouse Travels. And tonight, we are going to talk about all things Oahu. Um, if you're just now joining in, thanks for joining in. Um, please share this with any friends, family. Um, anyone who participates, comments, likes, shares, will be entered to win a Marvelous Mouse Travels Tumblr. So I will have that available soon. Um, first and foremost, I just want to say Hawaii is probably my favorite destination anywhere. There's just something about it to me that draws me in and keeps me coming back. A lot of it has to do with Ohana. Ohana, family, um, everyone there, all the natives, all the islanders treat you like pure family. And that, I think, is why I just fell in love with Hawaii when I first went over there um, to visit. I went, first trip over there, I went for mission work. I went to teach creative arts to the children of the Polynesia. So that's what really drew me in and totally fell in love with the place. So I, my heart is there, and that's why I'm here to talk to you about Oahu. Um, Oahu is one of the many islands in the Hawaiian chain, Hawaiian island chain. It is known as the most touristy island. Yes, I get it. You know, everybody wants to go to Maui or um, several of the other islands. But for me, it's all about Oahu. Um, first of all, there's so much to do there. There's so much to see. Um, it's a super quick island hopping trip. If you want to do a day or make a two days out of it, totally easy to do. Um, but just a little info about it. I'm a history person, so what draws me into it is a lot of the history behind it. Mainly what happened on December 7th, 1942 is a big reason why I enjoy going to Oahu. Um, visiting Pearl Harbor. It is just a sight in itself to see. It is one of the main attractions to visiting Oahu. And um, I think everyone, even if you don't know much about it, it is some it is something for you to see. Um, it's it's a quick day trip. It's a park admin mission. It's totally free. You get to you get to tour the museum. You get to view a twenty minute um, video about the history behind Pearl Harbor. There's also the USS Missouri you get to visit and the Bowfin submarine. Um, and also, there's good shopping around Pearl Harbor if you're all into that. Um, but other than that. It's great. So just, I'm going to start off with the Waikiki area. Waikiki is probably where your most tourists are going to be. Yes, it's great. The beach is wonderful. It's a must-see, must-do type of thing just to say you've been there. Um, it's usually pretty full. Pretty a lot, of, a lot of crowds kind of visit Waikiki because it's kind of open to the public. But it's just, um, just go and see it. You know, it's. It's an attraction in itself. Um, there's lots of resorts along Waikiki. My, one of my preferred resorts is the Hilton Hawaiian Village. Um, the big rainbow towers that you see, a lot of TV shows show this resort, um, a lot of movies, etc. So it's a very popular hotel area and it's lovely. Um, kind of moving up. Also in Waikiki, you have Diamond Head just down the road. Diamond Head is a crater. Um, a lot of known hiking. A lot of lookouts where what they call pillboxes, where you can hike to the hike to the top and overlook. It's just some really beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scenery, um, especially overlooking that water. 
and then you can look over and look down towards Waikiki. Waikiki also has lots of shopping, lots of great restaurants, lots of popular restaurants. Um, and for me, eating local, eating what the locals eat, eating, you know, just kind of not your normal chain restaurant, so to speak, um, is great too. There is... Um, there's a dish that's served there, and you can you can get it here in the states too. If you are a sushi lover, you might you might enjoy it, but it's called poke pokey, and I may be pronouncing that wrong. Um, but it's kind of like your ahi tuna, your your salmon, you know, kind of mixed with rice. It is raw, um, but that <laughs> that is one of my favorite dishes when I go over there because it's local. It's what the locals eat. So I like to try to stay with, you know, blending in. Um, also, while you're down in Honolulu area, some great places to visit are um, the Rainbow Drive-In. Now, the Rainbow Drive-In is a drive-in. You park, you walk up, you order it at the window, you grab your food, you go sit down, you, you enjoy your food. One thing that is popular across Hawaii is a dish called Moco Locos. And if you haven't had a Moco Loco, well, you better have an appetite when you go in to get one because it is a dish of rice. It is a hamburger patty full of gravy and fried egg. It's just, you know, it's a must try, I guess you could say. Um, I personally haven't had one just because... Uh, it's too much for me. Um, but I definitely suggest popping in at the Rainbow Drive-In, grabbing a Loco Moco, um, and just kind of enjoying that ambiance of a true Hawaiian drive-in type thing. Um, also a well-known thing in Honolulu and across the Hawaiian chain, but in Honolulu itself, since we are talking about Oahu, is Leonard's Bakery. Now, if you haven't been to Leonard's, you are truly missing out. If you are a sweet person, if you like um, donuts, these are true Portuguese donuts, and they are delicious. Um, they they come in all different flavors. They come filled. They come sugar coated, plain, whatever. But I always tell my clients and whoever decides to go to Leonard or Oahu, sorry, they must stop at Leonard's. There's just, you know, don't pass go unless you stop there. Um, but it's great. So let's see. Um, so my favorite area of Oahu is up on the North Shore. The North Shore, you're going to have a little less crowds. It's going to be more laid back, more spread out, just the real true Hawaiian surf lifestyle. Um, the North Shore of Oahu is known for surfing. Um, and there's some great beaches. There is some great little coves to go swim, you know, hang out at the beach. One in particular beach, I can't think of it off the top of my head and I forgot to write it down, but it is known for cliff diving. Now, if you're into that thing, that's great. I, I don't do heights so that I'm going to keep my feet on the sand. Um, <laughs> Donna, yeah, you. if you go to Hawaii, Donna, you got to try these donuts. Um, so this local beach, it's, it's beautiful. You have some beautiful scenery around you. You have this rock that everybody is drawn to and you can see adults, kids, everybody just jumping off and having a great time. Um, legend has it, well, I guess I shouldn't say legend, but Elvis's house in Hawaii is just around the curve from this beach. Um, I have a really dear friend that she found it and she went to it, but it is now a local resort and spa type health spa um she did she didn't get the name of it so i'll have to look that up 
also up on the North Shore, if you like shrimp, one other thing that's popular over here, and I feel like I'm talking all about food, but is garlic shrimp and shrimp trucks. Now, when I first went to Hawaii and people said, we're going to eat at a shrimp truck. And I was like, mm, I just don't know about eating seafood from a truck on the side of the road. I, I just was very skeptical. And this truck, we pulled up to it, just looked very... You, like, why would you want to eat seafood out of this truck? But let me tell you, I was wrong. This was probably some of the best shrimp I've ever had. You could smell the garlic for miles. You wouldn't have to worry about anybody bothering you because you smelled of garlic for days. <laughs> now, they have different flavors besides garlic, so don't worry. If you're not a garlic fan, you don't have to get garlic. But I do suggest stopping at Giovanni's Shrimp Truck and getting you a shrimp plate. Now, there's tons of shrimp trucks all over the island. This just happens to be one of my favorites and one that we always make a point to stop in when we head up to the North Shore. Um, also, one stop that we always go to along the North Shore is to Dole Plantation. Um, Dole Plantation, of course, is where they raise the pineapples. They have a big um, visitor center. They have pineapple mazes. They have your Dole Whips. They have ice cream. They have everything. It is delicious. If you've never had a Dole Whip, if you haven't been to Disney and gotten a Dole Whip, that's another thing that I highly like suggest doing. Um, they are fabulous. The pineapple ice cream is just delicious. It's very refreshing. You can see pineapples for miles. And I really didn't know how a pineapple grew until I visited the old plantation. So it was very intriguing to me. They have a train. They have um, all kinds of activities for the kids to do. So it's a definitely, if you're visiting Oahu, you could take a day and just drive up to the North Shore, you know, stop off for lunch at Giovanni's, head for dessert over to Dole, and kind of spend a day there, and then go to the beach. Um, it's perfect. Now, once you get up to the North Shore, the North Shore, does anyone know why it's popular during the months of February, late winter, early spring? Does anybody know that question and answer? I'll give you a second. The North Shore is known for surfing. The Pipeline Competition is a big known surf competition that's usually held, I believe, in February, March timeline. Um, so if you're visiting, that is a great, just to really get a view of amazing athletes and these surfers who, I don't even know how they do it. But um, there's a cute, quaint, neat little surf town, up, surf town up there. This little town, I believe it's Wailea. I believe that's what it is. They have a crepe shop. I don't know the name of the crepe shop, but it's the only crepe shop in town. Um, you can pop in, get you a crepe, you know, and then head on, head on your way tour the little town. Um, now, if it was me and I was headed to Oahu right now, I would probably stay on the only main resort that's pretty much located on the North Shore area, and that's Turtle Bay. Turtle Bay is an exquisite, beautiful resort. Um, they have a hotel. They have cottages. They have condos at this resort and it's probably by far one of my favorites if I wasn't staying in Waikiki. Um, it's just a little, it's out of the way. You don't have the hustle and bustle of the city. Um, but you have the 
the calmness, the relaxation of the laid back Hawaiian feel. Um, and it's gorgeous. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Now, also on the Koalina side, Koalina area of Oahu, you have um, several nice, fabulous resorts the Marriott, the Four Seasons, um, and also Disney's Alani Resort is on in Koalina. If you haven't, if you are a Disney fan, Disney, you know, lover, and want to visit Hawaii, I highly, highly, highly suggest going to Alani. Now, I have people who want to go stay at one island and then hop over to another one. Perfectly fine. That is something easily you could do. You could spend three or four nights at Alani and then be on your way to another island or another part of the island. Um, but Alani is fabulous. It has something for everyone. And just because it's Disney doesn't mean kids. I have had people say, I do not want to go to Alani because it's Disney. I'm not looking for a theme park while I'm on vacation in Hawaii. I'm like, nope, <laughs> it's not, it's not that. Um, my husband was one of those. He's like, I'm not going to Hawaii to go to a theme park. I'm like, what makes you think you're going to a theme park? No, it is a gorgeous resort. I think of it as the Polynesian Resort at Disney World on steroids. Um, it's just a little bit more vamped. It is gorgeous. You have all the characters. You have um, luau's. You have kids camps. You have kids clubs. You even have kid pools, kid everything for the kids. But also, you have adult-only areas as well. Um, they have adult pools, you know, so you don't have to feel like if you're just going with your significant other that you're just going to be surrounded by kids the whole time. No. The adults have their own area to get away from all that. Um, and it's perfect. And the beach is a cove-type beach. Um, so you don't have the hustle and the bustle of the waves. You know, you just have this calm, peaceful cove type beach. And it's just gorgeous. It's just really gorgeous. Um, also, around there, of course, like you, you have other hotels close by. So if Alani's not on your list, but you want, you know, four-star, five-star resort, um, there are several right there in that Koalina area. That will be great. Um, also, some fun activities. One of my favorite places to go for activities is Kualoa Ranch. Kualoa Ranch is a private reserve um, I'm not good with like leeward side or star, whatever side. It's, I just, I just know you're, it's on the other side of the island. Um, but it's a park, a nature preserve. Um, a lot of movies were filmed here. A lot of TV shows are filmed here. Current TV shows. Um, Jurassic Park is one that was filmed here. Um, Hawaii Five, if you watch Hawaii Five, oh, Magnum P.I., uh, Fifty First Dates, all filmed at this ranch. Now, when you go here, you can do anything from hiking, horseback riding, ATVs. Um, they even do like movie tours and take you around to where um, you can see where things were filmed. They serve picnics and all this type of things at the Kualoa Ranch. It is really a fun place to go, especially if you have, like, teenagers, you know, tweens, that sort of thing. Um, it's something for everyone, pretty much. Um, also, up around that side is a great place to go snorkeling. If you love to snorkel, want a nice, beautiful beach to relax, um, see some beautiful reefs, even swim. When the last time I was there, there was a nurse shark 
that had kind of made her home there, which was pretty neat. I didn't see her, um, but the staff said that she was in the area. Um, but it's Hunama Bay. Hunama Bay is a popular place, and I will say this. If you get there before opening, you can kind of bypass that paying um, entry fee parking, I believe it is. We were there at 7 a.m. Uh, so we got the snorkel gear. We didn't have to wait for that. And we could just, we pretty much had the beach to ourselves. And by the time visitors started rolling in, you know, it started getting a little crowded. So the earlier you're there, the better off it is. But it's a beautiful place to snorkel, um, to just swim, and just see some really pretty scenery. I remember when I was there looking up behind me and you just had these huge cliffs and like almost like a mountainous area surrounding you. And all I could think of was Jurassic Park. I felt like I was in the Jurassic Park movie. Just how insanely beautiful it was. Um, so that is, I always suggest that and recommend people going there if they want to do snorkeling. Also, I'm always asked about luau's. Of course, you can't go to Hawaii without doing a luau. It's just, it's just something you have to do. Um, there's so many luau's spread throughout the island, um, and everybody has their own, their favorites. But to me, I think going to the Polynesian Cultural Center is by far the best. You can get tickets to the luau that include, you know, this whole day package where you can see shows, you can see this whole Polynesian lifestyle, um, just kind of emerge into that Polynesian culture and um, just getting a feel of what it was and what it is. Um, and they also have the luau's, which is, I mean, is great. And I always tell clients to end their trip with a luau um, because I feel like that's just a good way to bring the whole thing together as a good way to say goodbye to the island. Um, and really give you that aloha spirit to leave on that long flight back. So, I think I've about covered everything that I have on my notes. Um, I will say this about, you know, long flights. Southwest is now flying to Hawaii, which is great. And I'm so excited about that. So, if you are... Southwest buff, want to fly Southwest Hawaii? It's fat. I mean, it's great. I'm so excited about it. So, um, yeah, me too, Michelle. I love the culture of places, and that's why I like to stay local, um, eat what the locals eat, drink what the locals eat, or drink, sorry. Um, but uh, all that. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and I will... Um, try to get to them after after we end this session um, and then I will post later on probably tomorrow about my tumblr giveaway and let you know who has um, been the winner of that tumblr but I just want to say thank you for everyone who joined in tonight learning about a little bit of Oahu this was my first time going live, and I may have been a little nervous, so I apologize about that. But I am here um, to answer any questions about Hawaii, Oahu, anything that you have. I have linked my Facebook page, my Marvelous Mouse Facebook page, in the con in this post, so you can find me there. Um, also, my information is scrolling across the bottom here. Um, my Facebook, my Instagram, my email. So feel free to contact me. Feel free to reach out to me. If you have any questions at all whatsoever, I will be glad to answer them. And again, I hope everyone has a great night. Mahalo from me to you for joining in tonight. 
and aloha. We'll see you later.